Hi everybody, it's me again to do another tricky word lesson. I hope you got on okay with your challenge for last week where you were learning three new words. Can you remember what those new words were? I think I've got them here. So we had this word, which was are. We had said and we had your. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these ones that we learned last week in amongst the rest of our pack and we'll see if we can read all of these words now. We've got lots and lots and lots of tricky words. Okay, let's give it a go. We. No. Are. You. She. To love he was the her of said me do I so, be your my we no are and I think we've done those all now haven't we? Well done! So everyone today I'm actually going to teach you five new tricky words not just three like last week, we're going to do five. And the reason we're going to do five will make sense in a wee minute when you see what the words are, because they all have a very, very similar pattern in them. Okay, I'm going to teach you the first one and then when we see the next ones, you'll see why they all have this pattern. So the first word is this one here. Oh, it's got an A ah, and it's got two O's, but remember we don't sound out, so we wouldn't say Al, Al. That's not a word, is it? That doesn't make sense because these are tricky words. So we have to just try and remember the words, okay? Because we can't sound them out because they don't sound the way that they look. All right, this word says all, all. I miss all of the primary one class. So next word has got something very similar in it, like the word all. I'm gonna show you the next word. It's this one here. And it says, call. So I'm going to show you the first one again. We had all, and then we've got call. Can you see the pattern? The word call is just the same as the word all, except there's a k at the start, isn't there? If I was to cover that up, you could see they both say all. So if we put a k on the front, that now says call. Like I am going to call my friend on the phone. So this word says call. Ready for word number three? Again, it's got a similar pattern because it's got the word all in it. And it's this word. This word has a b on the front instead. So there's the word all again, like that first card that we had. That was all, wasn't it? But this time it's got a b on the front, so it's going to say ball. Ball. I threw the ball for the dog to catch ball. So we can see there's all, there's ball, and I wonder can I hold the third one in as well, the one that we learned just before, call. So all, ball, call. These words all rhyme as well, don't they? I wonder if my next one's going to rhyme as well. Let's have a look. Here is our next one. Can you spot the pattern again? Like if I cover that up, oh, there's the word all, but it's got a t at the start, so it's not going to say all, it's going to say t tall, tall. We had to measure the little boy because he was growing so tall, tall. And again, that one rips, isn't it? Tall, call. Let's see if I can hold all of these ones. Ball, oh, am I going to manage? I don't know, ball. And all. Now we know that when we are learning rhyming words you just need to change the sound at the start to make it rhyme, don't you? All. 
we put this new sound at the start, call. New sound at the start, tall. Another new sound at the start, ball. And they all rhyme. Okay, the last word for us to learn today, word number five, because I said there was five, didn't I? Is this one here. Ooh, let's cover up the start and see. Well, there's the word all again. But this time at the start, we've got a s and an m. Sm, small is what that one says. This one you can sort sort of sound out a little bit because you can sound out the start bit. Sm, but then we know that just says all, doesn't it? So small, small. I had a small sandwich for lunch. Small. And again, small rhymes, doesn't it? Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to hold five up in a tower. So I will show you them one by one. So we had small. We've got ball. We've got tall. We had call. And all. So those are your five tricky words that I would like you to read and write this week. So if you could practice doing that, that would be really good. Okay, and you can practice it along with all of the other tricky words that we've got here. Okay, now these new words I have put into the PowerPoint for our tricky words. And what you'll find is you'll find the new words at the start of the PowerPoint to practice reading and writing. And then as you go through the PowerPoint, you can choose if you want it to be the mild, spicy or hot challenge. And you can pick one of those challenges or... You might want to do two of them or all three of the challenges and see if you can read as many tricky words as possible. I hope you get on okay with this challenge. I look forward to seeing how you get on. Bye.